and look at this guys it's ripped over here and it's full of debris full of rust this slight pin is completely seized in there and hello and welcome to another exterior video where i work on my truck sometimes i'm successful sometimes i'm not so in today's video we're gonna come back and continue working on our brakes and hopefully maybe today i can fix that issue do you remember in the last video i was trying to work on my sliding pins but unfortunately that didn't work so not to waste any time on that and anyways i wanted to replace the calipers i went in online and i bought new set of calipers so let's get them out open them up and start replacing them all right guys we are back to this uh, as you can see it's still disassembled but this has actually been a week since uh, before I actually did which I wanted to do for a long time basically ever since I got my truck because I knew this caliper is gonna give me an issue so what I did I went online and I bought new set of calipers so let's open it up I'm very excited to see what's inside the box it's a big box I got these calipers from Rock Auto I'm gonna post the links in the description and you just keep checking for where is the best deal let's take this out and this should be two sets of calipers should be for the front and for the back so I assume this is a back ones and this is the front ones as the front calipers tend to be bigger I try to pull it out without ripping the boxes because why not hopefully nothing is damaged and look at this this is this feels heavy wow got new hardware and let's compare this to my old calipers look at the difference <laughs> this this should be good i really like this that way you're never gonna lose the cup i'm very excited i'm very excited guys so i've been suggested multiple times that before installing the new calipers disassemble them and put a new grease in there so i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm, i don't know what kind of grease lubrication they have inside there so i'm gonna disassemble this real quick clean it all up and then i'm gonna grease them with the permatrex uh, caliper grease that way i know that it's not some cheap grease in there but something really good and all of these calipers they're marked which direction they go and basically all you have to do is just match make sure they they look the same where you put them so this is the front right the passenger side but anyways i'm gonna try to disassemble it, this now and that should be pretty easy as we just we're just gonna push this off this rubber boots and just slide this all out there we go just gonna have to use your nail or something or a little pry tool to slip these rubber boots off there we go and now we can just slide everything out there we go as you can see it does have some lubrication on it and um, it looks fine I mean but I just want to be on the safe side and I want to put this on it so now I'm gonna just clean this all up apply a new lubricant and we're gonna continue clean inside the caliper in there I'm just gonna use a skinny screwdriver with a paper towel and just push it in there and just try to clean it just try to clean it as best as possible and and that should be fine just gotta be careful make sure you don't leave any piece of paper towel inside or any debris inside now we're gonna clean the sliding pins itself go nice and clean it's a little bit windy today guys i'm sorry i hope the sound quality is not too bad now since we're using our new grease and since i have this new rubber boots i think we might as well replace this one the one that came with because i don't know how good this rubber is but i mean we have this anyway so might as well use this so like i said since we have this i already bought it and what's the point of returning i'm gonna try to use this rubber bushings rubber boots hopefully they still fit here and then i'm just gonna regrease all of this and assemble it back and then we're gonna start removing our old caliper 
So now I'm just gonna remove this uh, little rubber boot that it came with over here. Hopefully I can remove it no problem. You just have to push it out and it slides pretty easy. And now I'm gonna put the new one. Let's put it in. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm just gonna test it out if it's actually gonna fit in there again. And it fits in no problem. Uh, now I'm gonna put these rubber boots in place over here. There we go. They snap in no problem. Gotta be careful. Make sure you don't have uh, long nails. There you go. And this rubber feels much better for some reason than than this one, the one I came with. This feels a little bit more, how should I say? Uh, this feels a little bit more stiff. This feels more, for some reason this feels better. So now I'm just gonna cut this off and let's apply over here. So now I'm actually gonna put some of this inside here of a boot just to make sure it's all greased up and as we're gonna push the caliper together it should spread all the grease nice and even just like that now I'm just gonna make sure that this is all greased up nicely there we go so now our new caliper is all prepped we're gonna disassemble our old calipers I'm gonna take the brake pads out because we're gonna reuse them in my case so now we're gonna disassemble this part this is a 14 millimeter socket so since I recently worked on this this is all pretty loose it's easy to take out okay now we're gonna pull this out carefully just like that and just set it over here on the side okay so now we can take this whole portion out and for that all we have to do is just unscrew these two bolts hopefully they're gonna come out easy but we might need a used breaker bar now let's take them out completely The two bolts are out, now we can slide the whole thing out. My brake pads are, they're not too bad, so that's why I didn't bother getting the new ones. As this one are still, they still look somewhat okay. So I'm gonna reuse them. And my rotor seems to be, seems to be okay for now. So now I'm just gonna reuse my brake pads. I'm gonna use the new hardware they provided over here. And reinstall them over here, which is should be pretty easy all you have to do is just put the hardware in a caliper something like that and then the other one over here there you go and the other side again align push in place there we go now i'm gonna take the old pads out okay this one this one in place there we go. Okay. Put this one in place. Okay, that should be something like that. So now let's see if we can put this in place over here and tighten it up. This looks fine with a new bolt. Hopefully the bolt still match the holes. Hopefully they send me the right hardware. We're just gonna make this tight. Okay, and the top one. Make sure you tight it even. There we go. So now we're just gonna use the uh, new pins they provided us with over here, which is nice of them. Gonna put that in place. Let's put these things in place as well, on both sides. 
a few moments later. Now, to put this part in place, I actually need to remove at least one of the slide pins so I can push it on the side and then kind of close it. But in order to do that, I have to disassemble this. But the problem is that all my keys are, are too big, they don't fit in here. So the 17 millimeter that I supposed to use over here, it was actually too big. So I had to file it so I can at least grab it somehow in there. Luckily, this doesn't have to be super tight in the end. So, but yeah, just something to keep in mind. So now I'm gonna take this apart and set this on the side. Okay, and now we can put this in place. There we go. All the way in. Nice. Inside a little bit more lubrication here. Even though I think it's already sufficient. But just to be on the safe side. Okay. Now I'm gonna slide this one in. Just like that. Make sure that the boot goes on it. Now I'm gonna push this in. And we can screw this as well. And now we actually can torque all the bolts to specs. The, these two bolts are supposed to be 32 foot ton of torque. And these, the ones that are holding caliper in place, the two bolts are 136. So let's tighten up that to spec. And then we're gonna relocate our brake line holes. And let's torque these two bolts to spec. There we go. There we go. Nice. I'm glad I have a torque wrench. So now we're gonna disconnect our brake line. This might be a little bit tricky or not, but this is a 14 millimeter. So we're gonna undo it with a 14 millimeter. Oh, there we go. We broke it loose. Now we can probably undo this by hand. So just make sure you have a bucket nearby as a lot of brake fluid is gonna be probably leaking. There we go. Now they provided us with uh, brand new crush washers, so that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna we're gonna take this out, this washer out. There we go. Gonna take the new washer that they provided us with. That look a bit thicker actually. We're gonna put it over here, just like that. And the other one goes over here. And now we're gonna screw it back in place over here. And let's start screwing this carefully. There we go. I think that feels pretty good. I think that feels tight enough. Just wipe it all off. We'll keep it all nice and clean. There we go. And all right guys, finally the front brakes are done. Now I'm gonna do the same for the other side and then I'm gonna work on the rear. So now I'm working on the other side, on the driver's side. And I just wanted to show you guys that this side, calipers, they, they don't move. They don't slide, there is nothing here. So that is not good. They are pretty much seasoning here as well. I just wanted to show you that, guys. So, yeah. All right, gonna continue taking this apart, putting a new one, and then I'm gonna work on the rear. And look at this, guys. Just wanted to show you how all this is ripped over here. And it's full of debris, full of rust. These calipers, this slide pin is completely seized in there. The top one is moving a little bit, but this one is, this is all gone. I'm glad I'm getting the new ones. Now for the rear, it's basically the same procedure, almost the same. I already took the tire off. Now I'm just gonna clean these calipers and put a new grease and gonna put the new rubber boots, the ones I bought before. Might as well use them, like I said. Now the only difference over here that we have these holes and now that I think this might give me an issue because I believe this, in order to disconnect it from over here I have to unscrew this so these holes can move I have to take this clip out 
So as I'm unscrewing, the whole hose is going to spin around. And then once it's in place, or then you, once you tighten it up, you kind of put it back in here, and then you tighten this up again. I don't know why they decided to do like that. Why cannot? Why couldn't they do something similar like at the front? But yeah. So, and of course over here we have uh, two 19 millimeter bolts, which I'm gonna unscrew, and then we can take the caliper out. And okay, so now I'm gonna try to unscrew this caliper, slightly move it to the side, and then I'm gonna try to unscrew this. I actually already broke it loose. So, unfortunately, I didn't think far ahead. I probably should have bought a new line for here, but everything is closed today and it's still, this has to be a special order, uh, or I have to look online. But anyway, the important part will be to replace at least all of this, the hardware today. If I can do this without breaking this line, that's great. If not, at least I have a caliper in place and then I'm just gonna replace this line. So, at least that's the plan. So, kind of loosen this up and we'll see what happens. So now I'm just gonna try to slide this to the side, hopefully without breaking anything. Just like that, carefully. And now by holding this in place, I'm gonna just unscrew this stupid brake line hose. Just like that. I know it's probably not the most accurate way to do this, but unfortunately I don't have a new brake hose line with me. So, yeah. There you go. And this is out. And okay guys, so I assembled the rear caliper. So now I'm gonna try to screw it in and then just slide it in. And I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I got no choice. I have to try to do it like that. And it's already getting dark. Not that it's already getting dark, but it's getting dark soon. So I need to hurry up. And I kind of feel that this is, this is not really gonna work. I mean, I'm gonna try and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Looks like it's getting tight at least. All right. So now let's see if I can put it in place. Okay. It's almost in place. I put a couple of screws over here. Where are they supposed to go? And just don't forget to tighten up to 136 pound foot of torque. All right, guys, finally all work is done. It's finished. I got all my calipers installed. It was a little bit tricky for the rear because unfortunately I didn't get the new brake hoses in the back, but those are still somewhat functional. I bled all my brakes. I did it actually three times just to make sure I don't have any air in the system and just make sure you bleed them in a in appropriate order for mine ex some exterior it's kind of a little bit a weird way the way you have to bleed them first you're supposed to bleed the rear passenger tire then you're supposed to bleed front driver tire what i don't know why but that's what it is then you bleed in the rear driver tire and to finish everything up we bleed in the front passenger tire Apparently that's the order you have to bleed them. So after a multiple of bleeding my brake fluid, now I finally have, maybe for the first time ever since I got a truck, I have some pretty amazing brakes. 
I'm really happy with the way that truck stops now. It is very responsive. As soon as I press on a brake, I can feel it. Even though I have a Titan swap now and a bigger tires, that kind of negates the braking power, but still I have pretty good brakes. As always guys, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description in case you guys wanna look at the stuff that I use. And hopefully this video, I'm, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to be, unfortunately. There was few hiccups, but, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you might find it helpful. And until next time, everybody, bye.